Okay, so um, the double exercise I've got is really useful, particularly if you don't have too many jumps or poles to use. So it's just a different way of um, creating an exercise through a double, um, but without actually going straight through the middle. So the idea is to do a half circle, a bit like a teardrop, round the first part of the double and angle the second part of the double. In the air, you then look for example, if you're on the right rein, you then look left to land left, and you do a half teardrop straight back, angling to the what is the now the second part of the double, so what was the first part. And you can continue to do this, so it's really teaching the horse to change direction in the air. It's really good for the rider to start looking for the new fence because otherwise your teardrop goes too big and any angle gets too difficult to come back to the next jump. Um, it's also really good for the horse because they have to learn to land on the correct canter lead and it's great to, for a rider to start to perceive where the horse's body naturally wants to go on landing after a fence. So most horses will be stronger either on the left rein or the right rein and most will tend to have a preference of falling one way or the other. So what you'll find is that one teardrop is tiny because the horse wants to fall in and one becomes extra large because on that rein it wants to fall out. So it's really good for a rider to learn which is the horse's stronger and weaker side and to deal with it in this exercise before you actually start jumping a course.